I'm interested in learning in, the social, in a social context where it's the interaction I try to exploit is something like an infant caretaker interaction where I'm the caretaker essentially and the robot is like an infant. And I want to exploit these kinds of interactions that parents have always been giving their children in terms of constraining the environment, making the environment suitable for learning, helping the infant learn over time. And um, the motivations play a critical role in that as far as the infant telling the mother, am I being overwhelmed? Am I being bored? How should you be interacting with me to optimize my learning ability? And me, being the caretaker, being very receptive to reading these emotional cues and responding to them in the way I interact with the robot to promote its learning. This is a Kismet. Kismet's my infant robot. It gives me facial expressions, which tells me what its motivational state is. This first one is anger, extreme anger. <laughs> Disgust, excitement, fear, this is happiness, this one is interest, this one is sadness, surprise, This one is tired, and this one is sleep. In a suitable learning environment, Kismet's drives are in homeostatic balance. This means that the robot is neither understimulated nor overwhelmed by its interaction with the caretaker. Stimulation intensity is computed by the perceptual system. Moving faces are a social stimuli whose intensity is proportional to the amount of motion. Any other motion is treated as a non-social stimulus. Kismet works with the caretaker to keep the perceptual stimuli within an acceptable range. Kismet's emotions and expressions reflect its motivational state. By reading Kismet's facial expressions, yeah. the caretaker can respond to the robot's needs and stimulate the robot appropriately. One of Kismet's drives is to be social. If Kismet does not receive any social stimulation, it becomes lonely and looks sad. The caretaker responds by making face-to-face -face contact with the robot. This satiates the social drive, and Kismet displays happiness. However, if the social stimulus is too intense, Kismet becomes asocial and shows disgust. This is a cue for the caretaker to back off and restore the interaction to a suitable intensity level. Kismet's face detector picks up the face of a toy cow. As a result, Kismet uses the cow stimulus to satiate its social drive. Kismet's loneliness is satiated by the appearance of the toy cow. However, if the caretaker overstimulates Kismet with the toy cow, Kismet shows displeasure. Once the caretaker backs off, the social drive is restored and Kismet returns to an interested and happy state. Another drive is to be stimulated with toys and other objects. When left unstimulated, Kismet grows bored and appears sad. When the caretaker uses a slinky to play with the robot, its stimulation drive is satiated and the robot appears interested. However, if the caretaker begins to overwhelm the robot, a look of fear appears on its face. Large slinky motions are confusing and intimidating. Kismet's expression of fear tells the caretaker that she is frightening the robot and should back off. Kismet's stimulation drive is also satiated by a toy block. Similarly, Kismet can be overstimulated by the block. Again, Kismet displays an expression of fear. Extreme overstimulation causes the robot to block out external stimuli by closing its eyes and going to sleep. <laughs>